Again, tough loss. Played a half real hard. Second half, just got outplayed. Credit to Michigan State and Coach D'Antonio. Um, and really just credit their kids because I don't. There was no ma magic changes. I can't speak for them, but from watching it, they played their base defense and you know challenged the inside receivers a little bit more a couple times. But their base stuff, they, we got sacked uh, with their lead blitz which is what they do, two guys from the boundary with the back in the corner. They got us on us last year two or three times, so we'd worked it and ready. Um, defensively, you know, we got worked a little bit in the perimeter in the second half with some big plays, and we got to tighten that up, but I thought they battled. But, um, you know, disappointing to, you know, play hard, play with a lot of energy and come up short. And as a coach, I'll just keep looking at what we're doing to keep putting our guys in good positions because they're getting better, they're doing things right, we're making progress, but we got to get Ws. And i got to keep looking at what we're doing schematically and how we're attacking people and how we're managing a game to, to give us a chance to, to, to finish. I thought we needed to get the 30 points to win, which is pretty tough on those guys. I thought high 20s would be close, and that's what it was, but I thought we needed to get the 30, and we couldn't. Defense battled hard, but the defense didn't get any help in the second half, except for Eric Toth, who came in and did a nice job as a punter. So with that, we'll open her up. Looks like you guys had a lot of had some passes over the middle, some posts in the first half that, that worked well. The second half, it looked like they took away the flat and and there wasn't much available over the middle. What did you see there? Um, you know, so, you know, when, sometimes it may, again their ability to take with the flat is if they're coming up hard on some of those perimeter plays, you bait that, you get over the top to keep them honest. We had a couple of those because it was we had that in the first half, and I don't know if we got that worked up in the second half. And so um, um, again, I don't think. I think they, they, they played a little bit harder. They got off blocks. We didn't get the run game going well, but that's that's the nature of their defense. One, they're pretty stout and they're pretty good. But two, they're just going to outnumber you and make you work the ball outside where the 12th defender is, the sideline. So, uh, again, I was just disappointed in our rhythm, uh, similar to Ball State, maybe similar to the first half last week, our just ability to get the right calls or get the kids to execute the calls. If they're the right call and you don't execute it, it's not the right call. So it's just getting in sync and we're just a little bit off. We can be third down real long and third and six, eight, and we come off the field. So again, just credit to those, their guys and their coaches. They, they got it done at halftime, played a good second half. And you're not going to beat a good team. You're not going to win big 10 games, you know, like that. And you're not going to, you're not going to be good teams if you don't play 60. And our kids gave us effort, but we got to put them in better chances for 60. Did you think about when the offense kind of struggled, did you think about making a switch to Sudfeld? You know, a little bit, but at the same time, we went so long, you know, with Cam. I uh, thought he played reasonably well. Again, we weren't forcing picks and all that deal, and uh, they're going to challenge and make things. So, you know, initially our thought was, and the only reason we went, quite honestly, the only reason we went with Cam, he was slightly better on Wednesday and Thursday. And it was really just better in communication. As a young guy, a couple plays, you know, Nate went practicing, you're putting in a game plan, he could be a little bit off, and, you know, he just butchered a couple, didn't mean to. And that's just him being a young cat. And, 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 and like I said, we truly don't chart or statistic, but if you watch them, it's, I mean, it's close. Matter of fact, one of the coaches right today said, hey, we're going to start Nate. I mean, so that's kind of the way he practiced. We went with Cam. He got a hot hand. We rode it. And then second half, they did a nice job. Again, we didn't have the ball for 20-something minutes, so they did a good job of working us and staying on the field. And by then, to me, the game had gone away. We just kind of rode Nate. I, I would have told you before the game that probably wouldn't have happened. But the dynamics, the way it went, that was just the, the way we were saddled up and the way we rode the race out. What was different about him in the first half than last week? I mean, how, how much different was Cam last week than he was? Support helped too. You know, we got in rhythm offensive, rhythm play calling. We were attacking. There's some energy, you know, and, and we got to find ways to keep creating energy. I didn't think we had, there's a whole lot of energy in the second half. I mean, you're sitting there, I'm looking at the whole crowd sitting around. You know, our band was good on when their defense off with their stuff getting it going. But, you know, there's some times when I'm like, you know, I, was, I took one possession where I was trying to be the cheerleader of, let's go. And, um, because I think sometimes, maybe I hadn't been here long enough, but I think sometimes that we're all sitting saying, oh, here we go again. Or somebody sitting around waiting for something. And I worry about our football team. You know, oh, here we go again. Or, or someone waiting for something good to happen. we got to keep attacking. we got to make things happen. And we just got to keep fighting with those guys. So that's kind of, that was just kind of my, my thought as we got into it. No one's fault. As a team, you got to create energy. You know, I, I, I used to yell at a coach at Oklahoma, start yelling about the fans not cheering. And I said, well, you know, you're not a cheerleader. If we make a play, they'll cheer. You know, so it's all about making plays. First half, we made plays. We had energy. Second half, we didn't make plays. Credit Michigan State. Not a good job by us. The defense, though, uh, had stretches where it was really good. I think it was five, three and outs in Michigan State's first 10 possessions. What was going really well through the first, you know, half, half plus? 
Again, I think our defense is better. Last week we got work, but it's a tough animal, the way they can spread you out and what they do with what their stuff, a little bit different today. I think our coaches address some things and, and just trying to put our guys in better position with some movements and blitzes. We did get worked in the pass game a little bit in the perimeter. We got to tighten that up. Do you know uh, any status on Mitchell Boss? Uh, not sure, but I think he's got something down in, and I'm trying to remember. I think it's his right foot, which wouldn't be his plant, but but with him kicking your plant, I think it's his right foot. If I'm just remembering the way they were sitting there when he was laying on the ground, I believe it was one, it is right. Um, we'll see, but it, it's a good enough ankle sprain. If they x-ray it, maybe it's more that might be a week or two, so we'll see. And the real deal I was more concerned about, because we've seen Eric – but we're actually been working, you know, Cam and some other guys at Holder. But the kick, you know, the kicker's like, hey, we work with Eric all the day. And the extra, I thought Eric really did a nice job. Not only punting, he did a nice job on a couple of placements. And all you got to do with that placement is just be an inch off and the guy doesn't hit it right. And you're yelling at the kicker when sometimes it's the hold guy. And so I thought he did a great job there. And that was good to see we needed that. We'll need that as we go. Again, we played a physical team. We're talking about injuries. I thought our kids attacked. I thought we got after those guys and hit them. And, you know, I, I didn't see our guys tapping out and didn't see our guys laying on the ground. We were trying to play physical and the defense was coming. And, and so, again, the physicality and growing and, and playing hard was there. And that I like. I just got to figure out at halftime why first half, why last week, where were we as an offense? This week, second half, defensively tighten up some coverages. Kicking game's been reasonable, you know, as far as punt, punt coverage and kickoff and whatnot. So we're gaining, but moral victories is not our deal. And you can say we're young. We're not young. These guys now play 14, 15, 16 games. And the only thing by being here longer, you might have time to get a little bit stronger. But as far as experience, we've got experienced players. Uh, we got quarterbacks now that know what they're doing. And we're kind of attacking. We don't have a limited playbook. So it's not about youth. It's not about moral victories. It's about getting W's. And we let one get away today that we'll remember a long time because you get a chance to get that one. you got to get it. That was a spittoon. That's a trophy game. What, picked up with, uh, what did Kofi pick up? It, it looked like he grabbed something, an injury there in the second half and didn't come back. He got he got hit in the chest. So getting him checked out, see if he's got a rib deal or just got bruised up pretty good in the sternum area there. You mentioned getting just worked a little bit on the perimeter. It seemed like just not got a couple occasions. It was just straight up one on one plays where you kind of had a corner there and you know the other guy made a play. Just what did you see there? I guess are you concerned about the way that some of you guys are just playing the ball? Well, that's that's the rub, and that's what they're going to do. You guys, you know, all week we talked about their big running back and how they're going to run it, run it, run it. Well, that being said, especially when you don't have the running threat at quarterback, you t totally load up. But when you load up, you get guys one on one, and if you're a good football team. You know, they, they work guys one-on-one, -on -one, so they had a couple double moves, a couple go balls, post shots, and quarterback gave him a chance. It still starts a little bit with protection. You know, and him getting a chance when we got after the quarterback and harassed him a little bit, it's a little bit better, so. Uh, Ruff said at the, at the drop punt at the end, uh, it said the guy muffed it, then covered it up. And during the ensuing scrum, like the field judge observed a punch. Is that what he told you? Yeah, uh, and with that, uh, Bolzer was ejected, and he'll be out next game. First half to take the points with the field goal. It seemed like it played out exactly the opposite. It did the Ball State game, and it came back. The Ball State was pretty good. Now Ball State was that no one caught because you guys don't halfway watch the game. But if you remember, Ball State had 12 guys on the field, so the ball went to the one and a half yard line, and then we ran a no play. And if they lined up poorly, we were going to run the ball, and we ran it and walked in. Well, this game we lined up not with big guys, and it wasn't a two point deal. It was a seven or nothing. And we lined up, did a no play, thought they were good. We kind of took our chance. You know, we got down there. And, and so it was, it was similar but different. And with the momentum we had to get nothing there, what I thought would have been a, a, big, a big momentum for those guys. I mean, you can go back and look at it. I thought we needed 30. And we thought a little bit about it. I actually thought that run. We were trying. We were going to run the ball in the third down because we thought they were going to blitz, and we could. We thought we could bait them into not blitzing, and them knowing we're going. And we thought we could stick it in there, and we got close, but we weren't strong enough and tough. And I thought Stephen made a heck of a run there. So, but it was a little different dynamic because all we're doing at Ball State that no one caught because you guys missed the, the, the twelve guys on the field is if we didn't like it, we we're going to take a delay a game. And we'd have kicked an extra point from the six and a half, and our kicker's not great, but he can make that one. So it was, it was, it was. It, to me, it was, it was pretty simple logic. This one was, you know, you're, you're playing and and you know you're you 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 you've rolled the dice a couple times. Hey, you need to, you need to cash it in. We had done too good, had too much much momentum, and it was a yard and a half for all or nothing. And again, if we didn't like say the previous one, it's your it's a completely different dynamic because we were going to delay and go kick it. This one, we just because the clock was running, we we were letting because we didn't like it. We were milking the clock down so they couldn't do anything, and it worked out pretty good. I was really concerned 
at the end when they punted us to the 10 that half, they had three timeouts with 20 seconds. I thought they were going to go timeout, 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 make a snap and come after the punt. And so I was really – we were trying to manage that half to get out of it. So it's similar but different. And we, we keep trying to take gambles, but they're all reasonably calculated. Some of them work, some of them don't. One more question. I guess uh, what were they doing that was just kind of taking away the run game and, and making the you know, short pass? One, one, you know, they're big and stout, but two is their style. I mean, you can line up on tape with, with four defensive ends, three backers, and two safeties inside your two receivers. So the game is, is played in the perimeter outside. And they're going to use the sideline. There's a defender over there and defender over there. So they're going to force everything to bounce. You're not going to go north and south. And it's, it's I mean, Pat coached with us. It's Terry's 4-3 style from years and years ago of old school palms. That being said, now their corners are out there locked up. We talked about loading the box and our corners getting work. Their corners are out there all day. We made a few plays. We just didn't make enough. So, But, again, good effort. Proud of the guys. No morals. we got a lot of work to do. Buckeyes next week.